Hi. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to examine the throat. The whole process takes only a few seconds. Start the throat exam by attaching the module with the spatula. Make sure to choose the right size of the spatula. For children up to five years old, use a size S spatula. And for anyone over five years old, a size L spatula. Gently tilt the patient's head slightly back. This way, you and the test subject will be more comfortable. Place one hand on the patient's lower jaw. This helps you control the patient's head movements. Ask the patient to open his mouth as wide as possible and say, ah. Place the spatula on the tongue, reaching up to three fourths of its visible length. In order for the image to be considered diagnostic, it should include the uvula, the back of the throat and palatine arches. Keep in mind the three most important elements of the throat exam. Tilt the patient's head back slightly. Insert HIGO with a spatula up to three fourths of the tongue's length and press down firmly. If you can see the back of the throat, uvula and palatine arches, you can finish the exam. Here are a few of the most common mistakes. The most frequent mistake is pressing the tongue with only the tip of the spatula, which prevents you from seeing the back of the throat. Do not move your wrist during the exam. Make sure to press the spatula down parallel to the roof of the mouth. If the patient does not open his mouth wide enough, his teeth or upper lip may be recorded. Such an image may not be diagnostic. Some patients have a very strong gag reflex when inserting the spatula. In such cases, the exam should be performed as quickly as possible. Ask the patient to open his mouth very wide, stick his tongue out as far as possible, tilt his head back and loudly say ah or uh. Thanks, now you know how easy it is to conduct the throat exam. Make sure to check out other exam guides. See you soon.